Uh, start out introducing yourself, uh, your name, where you're from, the character you're playing, and ladies first. All right. Um, I'm Audrey Kennedy, and I'm from Birmingham, Michigan, and I will be playing Ariel in The Little Mermaid. Um, I'm Angel Lozada, and I'm from Orlando, Florida, and I'll be playing Prince Eric. Oh, uh, I was looking this up, and Little Mermaid came out in 1989, which I'm guessing was before you guys were born. It was, yeah. <laughs> um, so tell me, uh, the first time you saw the Little Mermaid, I'm guessing as kids, what it was like and what it was for you guys. Well, I don't exactly remember the first time, but because I watched it so often when I was younger. But I do just remember, like, especially like the mermaids and how they swim in the water. And then I remember I would go and swim in the pool just like them, and so that's my big memory of it and all the magic under the sea. Yeah, I think for me, I yeah, I wasn't born in the 80s, but it was still <laughs> like a big part of my childhood. And I think what made it more interesting for me was that it was under the water and this was like the first princess that was under the water and it was just a lot different than the rest of the princesses. So I think this was like my favorite one, honestly. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of water, everyone's been asking me, how are they gonna do Little Mermaid on stage? I mean, <laughs> what, how are they gonna do it? So what can you tell me about how this will be done, especially the underwater scenes? Well, we have um, very beautiful, beautiful costumes. The mermaids are all sequined and gorgeous and um, our costume designer is brilliant and, but, um, for the flying and for the swimming, we have a scuttle, we have a flying system rigged up, so, so we don't want to reveal too much, but scuttle will be flying in and out of his entrances, and then, yeah. um, Ariel will be occasionally swimming around, so you'll get to see some of that magic yeah. on stage. Okay. Um, so, obviously you have fin tails for some of it, mm -hmm. do you have to crawl around, or are you walking kind of? <laughs> <laughs> we, we'll be walking, our feet are completely hidden, so it'll, we're hoping that el that illusion is effective. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. I don't have to worry about that. I get to be a human. Yeah, he's a human. <laughs> yeah, so you get to be the prince. Yeah. Is this the first time you played a prince? It actually is. It's my first prince, and I'm super excited. <laughs> yes, this is my first prince. Okay. Um, well, this story is about, you know, love and what you'll do kind of for love and what you'll give up for love. So how, how I guess, awesome is that kind of story or how romantic is that story? Or? Yeah, it is a very romantic story you know like I mean Ariel like she changes she, it's it's actually kind of funny to talk about because she does change herself so she can be with him but it's because they're from two completely separate worlds I mean there's no way that like a mermaid and a human would end up together but you know thanks to some magic that it's possible Disney magic yeah <laughs> and what I love about Prince Eric is that he's not your typical prince he mm -hmm. doesn't really want to be a prince mm -hmm. um, and he's willing to sacrifice all of that, everything, his throne, everything for this voice, this this girl mm -hmm. that he hasn't even seen yet, um, but he's fallen in love with. Yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of the voice, the voice is important. So, uh, talk, talk a little bit about your own voice training, your singing, and. <laughs> well, um, I was trained the same voice teacher my whole life, um, and she classically trained me. So. That was my background, and but now I'm just singing, you know, Disney princess sounds. <laughs> but I love it, and she's really, truly amazing, and she taught me how to use my voice and how to keep it healthy, so I'm so thankful to her. And that's my background with singing. Yeah, um, I've had, this is, I'm on my third teacher now, um, which is amazing. Um, all three have been fantastic. They've all helped me so much, and I've learned how to be healthy, mm -hmm. how to let, um, sustain a whole run of shows without like getting vocally fatigued um mm -hmm. yeah i've learned really good technique with all those teachers let's talk a little bit about those songs i'm assuming all the songs from the movie are still in there but did they add more to take oh, them out a lot yeah, more they added a lot more they added um all the loved disney songs are in the musical and they're just as amazing as they were when they were in the movie and then we also have an incredible new selection of songs like she's in love Prince Eric, your Both songs are, yeah. are new. Both of the songs that I sing yeah. are not in the movie. And um, One Step Closer, one of the songs he sings, has the tune, the melody of when all the sailors are on the ship and it's... Yeah. So that's really fun. Yeah. So they made that into a song. Yeah, they use some of the melodies from the mm -hmm. movies to create the extra songs that we have. Okay, yeah. so how many, 20 some songs probably in this show? I think it's about 22. Yeah, 22. it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot more than the movie. <laughs> 
Now, the big villain in this is Ursula. Mm -hmm. What, what, is she very similar to the movie or what, and the actress playing her? And... Well, the actress playing her is the sweetest girl ever. <laughs> her character is not. Um, yeah, so for her, it's, she has obviously, because the is going to flesh out these characters more, she has way more backstory and it, you yeah. can see why Ursula is the way she is and why she's evil. And it actually makes her even more terrifying, terrifying than she was in the movie. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and in this one, she'll have like her big tentacles, and when she spins, they all kind of fly around, and her wig is like this tall. Yeah. So and her heels are always with her. <laughs> mm -hmm. Her magical side. flotsam and jetsam. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, they're spooky. They're really spooky. Yeah, it'd be scary. It'd be an inexperienced. <laughs> <laughs> so kids be warned a little bit. <laughs> kids yeah. might not want to hug her afterwards, but they'll, they'll appreciate her. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, is there any? I got, you don't want to give away too much of the plot, but there's a you mentioned uh, Ursula has some backstory. Is there a lot of plot changes for the movie or additions or how's that? Um, for the most part, changes, it's right? the it's pretty similar. If anything's fleshed out, the only thing that's different is how um at the end how Ariel gets her voice back and the whole prince scene at the end. Yeah, that's a little different. Is different, but that's only because. In the movie, she like goes out in a ship onto the water, and like it's we can, it's theater. There's yeah. so much you can do. But there is magic. But it's here. magic. It's still magic. magical. Okay. But it's, I think it's more fun. You'll yeah. see. It's very. Yeah. That scene's great. So. Okay. You know, when you take on these roles, how did you decide? Did you decide to play, stick to the characters as they were in the movies, or did you add your own little touches to the characters? Or. Um, at least for me, I love a character. Uh, this character isn't far from me, like myself. So. I love bringing a little. <laughs> I love bringing a little of myself to a character, but it really depends on the role that I'm playing. But for this character, I definitely brought a little bit of Angel to it. So okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, and um, Little Mermaid for Ariel at least. Like watching the movie, I watched it so many times for character preparation because to some extent, the audience wants to see Disney. But then also you do have to bring a little bit of yourself to it and bring some realness to it because, you know, <laughs> she's a girl going through these problems and feeling that she doesn't fit in. So it's all about just finding yourself in the character and then adding on to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I, we mentioned songs earlier. Are there, you guys have favorite songs that you like or a favorite number that's... Oh, it's a hard question. A favorite number that we sing or that just in the whole in the show? show? Both. Both. Okay. okay. I think my favorite number is definitely her voice. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. Because it, it's that moment that I have hope for something else and I don't have to necessarily mm -hmm. become a king or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's, it's an outlet and maybe I can find her. Yeah. I think that's like my favorite song. It's incredible. Yeah. Um, my favorite I think is Act 2, Beyond My Wildest Dreams, because she's just <laughs> in this human world for the first time and she's just like, what? This is crazy! I can't believe I'm actually here! Because she's a mermaid. Like, can you, she's actually walking around now. Like, she never thought that'd be possible. It's it's so fun. But then, I think my favorite group number is Under the Sea. Under, oh, Under the Under Sea. Under the Sea. Is yeah, great. I agree. It's so fun. We have silks hanging down. Oh, so much And, like, going people on. doing tricks in those. And just, like, crazy, crazy costumes yeah. and choreography. It's That's just, the one sung by Sebastian, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. He's I, just... I rewatched the movie last week, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A close second for me would be Kiss the Girl. Oh, yeah. Kiss the Girl's another. His numbers are great. Sebastian's numbers are awesome. Yeah. yeah it's like the, the movie was written for lucky. Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> he's lucky, that one. Yeah, the Kiss the Girl's very, oh, it's like the same. Yeah. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. And like all these effects. So as far as Sebastian goes, is it like someone with a puppet or is someone in costume? Well, he has, um, it's a person and he doesn't have a puppet. Our eels have puppets. Yeah. But he is just like walking around like yeah. a crab. He has little hands he has a he's all the time. Yeah, He'll have a, a big costume. red costume. Oh, yeah. Um, for the Les Poissons scene where the chef like, attacks him, he, they're using a hat, and that'll be like what they think is the crab because you know he's actually this big to these humans. Yeah. When yeah. he's actually like our size in the show. But that element is kept in the show. It's really fun. It's really, really fun. Okay. Uh, now let's talk a little bit more about you guys. Is this your first seasons here at the Wagon Wheels? Yeah, yes, it is. It is. Okay. Okay. So what's the? It's only one show in, but what's the experience been like so far? You know, it is like so much work, so much fun. I mean, 
we love the theater, oh, so like yes. being here every day is a dream come true. Being here, like this is our job, yeah. our summer job, so it's like we get to play. Yeah, <laughs> we get to we get paid to like play dress up and we get like paid to have play dress up fun. You know what I mean? Disney yeah. characters. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. but I mean, it's so professional here. They work really so is. fast, and here. they hold you to a really high yeah. standard. They, Always on your game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys here for all the entire season? How long are you guys here for? I'm here through Adam's family. And I'm here through Midsummer. Yeah, so okay. he's one show more than yeah, I am. Okay, cool. Um, any, and then uh, after the season's over, you go back to school, I'm assuming? Yeah, I do. I, I probably have like a week and a half before school starts after yeah, I finish Yeah, I'm okay. going to work in a, another theater actually, but then after that I'll have a week left. Okay. So, cool. yeah. Well, thank you very much.